and welcome back to Buckle Up. I'm Harry King. And I'm Rob Wilson. And this is the Twisted Suzuki Jimny. The most famous Jimny in the world. And turbo. Turbo. Let's go. We're very excited. So let's start, Rob, with the outside features, which you may have noticed, the keen-eyed among you, that this looks almost exactly like a normal Suzuki Jimny. Yes. In terms of its normal wheel arches, normal front bumper, mm -hmm. normal grill with the five slats in it, not seven, it's not a Jeep. <laughs> normal bonnet. Yep. There are some, some indications down the side that perhaps this might be a twisted chimney. There's these lovely 16 inch wheels, mm -hmm. upgrades from the 15s, wrapped in uh, BF Goodrich all terrain tyres, lovely stuff. And then there's a, a very subtle sticker. Yeah, you there, wouldn't notice it. Um, which says Jimny by Twisted, mm. along with their Instagram page, as this is their demonstrator car. So that's fair enough. It, it's. But I mean, the, the normal chimney is, is a lovely thing. It's. But it looks so much cooler with these it's tires. It's very, <laughs> very tough and chunky on these tires. It's also got um, upgraded lights. It does have upgraded lights. Um, but I think, Rob, mm. we should pop the bonnet. Yes, is it on your side? It's on, it's your on side. this side. I shall grab it. Now, can I find the latch? Oh, straight away. And then, behold, a 1.5 Suzuki engine. Yes, it is still a 1.5 litre Suzuki engine. Mm. Uh, it's no longer naturally aspirated, though. No. You may have noticed a big old cone filter there. Mm hmm going into a whopping great turbo. Yep. And then on this side, there's some intercooler piping. It, yes. Yes. It's, it's glorious. It's glorious. <laughs> and I must say, in the world of aftermarket additions to engine bays, mm -hmm. this is such a beautiful installation with oh, these little yeah. plaques and the, all the welding and the way this has all been cut out. And it's just, it looks like it's always been designed to be here. Yep. Like there was always a gap left for a turbo to go in. Yeah. Which there might be because obviously the K version of this vehicle, yeah. while only having a 660cc engine, it is turbocharged. The, another really, really lovely detail, detail that Twisted do is when they add things in, like this mm. uh, cone, for example, you'll notice all of the... Um, what are these called again? I've forgotten. Jubilee clips. That's the one. Jubilee clips. They're all pointing when they're fastened on so that they're, they're easily accessible. Yeah. So all the screws are pointing up, up. out of the engine bay. So it's not like you're going to have to, oh God, I can't get the screwdriver in there. I'm going to yeah. have to go underneath and whatever. They, they are masters of this sort of mm. OCD engineering. And then to make this really work properly, not just aesthetically, mm. but in order to deliver power, you've got an extra CPU. You here. do. An ECU. ECU, yeah. A CPU ECU. A computer. Yeah, there's a computer, and that makes sure that the engine and the turbo knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, to give you a lovely, lovely, sweet, sweet 165 horsepower. It's a lot of horsepower. It is but, a lot of horsepower. But we've been speaking to Twisted. Mm. This can be... Well, in testing... In testing, they've had it up to 300 horsepower. Obviously, there's no confirmation on the reliability of no. that tune. This is only half a bar yeah, of boost. This is, they've gone for a reliable level of tune here. Yeah, so there's low stress still. Low on stress, here. half a bar of boost, and then lots and lots of waste, wastegate noises, which we'll get onto later. Yes. But I think we should go and look at the back. Yes. Because we've not actually had a commercial Jimny on the channel. No, we haven't. So, so let's, let's go and see what the boot's like. Yes. Let's do that. It's got a side hinge boot. It's also, before you open the oh. side hinge boot, Rob. Sorry. Let's talk about some features at the back of the vehicle. Yeah. So you've got a spare wheel. Yep. You've got a, a proper sturdy towing hitch down here. And you've got a reversing camera hidden down here as well, which actually beautifully lines up on the towing hitch. So it'll make it very easy to, uh, to line your trailer up. It's also got their twisted badge that they stick on all of their vehicles. So it's yes. nice, it says Twisted, well, Yorkshire. They only England. stick it on their full conversions. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Anybody with a Jimny could go to Twisted now and buy some part of these bits. Mm -hmm. They'll sell you any of the bits for it. 
for you to fit yourself or for a mechanic to fit for you or they can fit it for you but only if you do a full conversion will you get the twisted yeah. plaque on the back of the and uh, it's a lovely plaque it is a lovely plaque i also i just want to mention since i'm holding it yeah. this is a rain gusser yes which is very uncommon on modern vehicles it is but we can see a little bit of what they do inside yes so um I don't well, know. let's start here. Yes, I don't know if you know the uh, normal Suzuki Jimny, but I don't remember it having this fantastic leather no. embossed, stitched, beautifully fitted mm. bit here on the door. And this isn't this isn't rubber with fake stitching on. No, no, this is twisted higher a person to do this. This is, and it's one person who does all the cars. Yes, every every car at Twisted is is a built by a person. Yes, so... In the, in the factory. Yeah. Our car will go on a ramp, and then one person will see that car from start to finish. You know, like, like AMG Mercedes lie that they say they do that. <laughs> Twisted do it. Yeah. I also like that this is still the emergency escape. And oh, they, yeah, they and bothered they put, to emboss the leather. Put, put a little embossment of the emergency escape hatch on that. And then you've got a massive flat load space. Uh, over 800 litres of space in here. Um, Huge. They do remove the bulkhead mm -hmm. on this. Everything that was plastic is just lashings of leather. Is, is now leather and now the roof line is this fantastic suede material mm. and that's throughout the entire cabin. Your backs of your seats are leather. They've still got seat back pockets on them even yep. though this is a two seater and it's just useful, I guess, space. But it's even just... This yeah. is going to be really nerdy now. Yeah, let's get nerdy. But everything... If you did that to a normal chimney, there'd be a hollow noise. Yeah, it would echo. Everything is full of soundproofing, yeah. carpeting, the yeah. leather. And it's all been looked over and tightened down if it needed tightening down or fixing in place better if it rattled. There is no rattles in this car. They go through the whole car and just everything now and it is going to be important that i've mentioned all of this because we've not spoken about price yet and we'll no that we'll later. save that we'll save, save that you've but also got speakers and stuff yeah you do have speakers back upgraded here. sound systems it's, it's everything is every, better everything you can possibly think of that would just make your life a little bit better twisted have done it yes so shall we go and sit in the front seats let's go sit in the cabin and, yeah. and see what they've done there they've really gone through with the leather yes every single thing that you touch is leather now or even see yeah <laughs> other than the headliner which is obviously that technical material even the top of the dash on the top of the binnacles is all lovely stitched leather the only bits of plastic i can still see there's the bits around the aircon control yeah because obviously you don't want to impede their operation well no this is still suzuki isn't it and then it? the physical actual air vents but even the Again, surrounds have been redone. Even the surrounds have been redone in soft touch. Yeah, and this is all soft, soft plastic. Yeah, it, around... Yes, it's soft touch around the radio. Yeah, because in the normal commercial... There's you, no screen. You don't get a screen. You get a little radio. So they've put an Al Alpine unit in, yeah. and it's got Apple CarPlay. That's where your reversing camera comes through. Yeah, it's integrated. It's got a twisted logo on it when you start up the car. Yeah. So it's a nice system. Twi twisted on the steering wheel. Yeah. Twisted on the, the door pulls, yeah. all embossed, twisted on the seats. And the seats themselves, they've got a sort of square pattern on them. It's not diamond stitch leather, it's square stitch leather. Yeah, I was going to say it's giving Bentley, but it's it's giving... Uh, Waff waffle. Yeah. <laughs> They're very, very nice, and the leather is a very, very yeah. good quality. And they've put big leather gaiters round... Yeah, both the gear stick and the transfer case, and they've wrapped handbrake. the handbrake in leather. Yeah, and they've wrapped the base of the handbrake in leather, and all yep. of the sensor console, as much as you can call it that. Yeah, it's this quite is leather. Giddy. Yeah, leather. What's the glove box like? It's like a chimney glove, like box. A gymney glove but box, but it's covered in leather, Harry. Yes. Um, so yeah, and this then you've is got leather. the grab handle. Yeah. And some people have pointed out, I'm not going to name any names, but some people have pointed out you can see where the screws attach for the grab handle under the leather, which I quite like. Yeah, I because also like it. Because while this is lovely and luxury, it's based on honest, hardworking underpinnings. Yeah. And I like that being sort of visible throughout the build of the car. Well, this is all suede. Yeah. Suede. It's Allen. Grab, yeah, it is a bit of Allen. Grab handles, leather stitch. Yes. Yeah. This is all suede on your, um, some visors. And I love, just in general, the gauge 
binnacle on yeah. a chimney because it's giving defender. Oh, yeah. This looks like but boxes that have been bolted to a dashboard. This is such an obvious next step for Twisted. Yeah. It's still a body-on-frame SUV, mm. and you can still do all of the wonderful things that they do. The massively improved interior, the massively improved driving experience. Yeah. Because, as much as we love the Jimny... Well, it's like a Defender. Prob- yeah. it's, it's ultimately it's- compromised. You do get some things in here that you would never really get in a Defender. You've got cruise control. You do. You have nice... And you have steering wheel mounted controls, which yeah. just weren't the thing on the Defender. You can answer the phone and do you use Bluetooth. And there's an, uh, there's an airbag. There is an airbag, Which is, is yes. genuinely an important benefit over a Land Rover Defender. Yes. Um, that weren't fitted with airbags. You've yeah. also got lane departure warning I can see down here. Yep. And uh, collision alert. Or, yep. or, or, or city mitig- or yeah, yeah. Well, and you've also got tweeters because this has got an upgraded sound yeah. system and it sounds lovely it does sound good we we've can got, confirm we obviously can't, we can't show you yeah because YouTube but it, it's it's very nice nicer than you get in, in most uh, kind of middle uh, what's the right term mass market cars yes yeah well that's the other thing right this doesn't feel hand built in the nicest possible way mm. because Everything is so well done. I mean, the stitches are so straight. Yeah. This is that one, do, this is one lady does, who does, does this. Doesn't and meander she, about or no, anything. And, and she must have the steadiest hand in the world because yeah. everything is just perfect in here. It's all of it. This is... It, I, I really like this car. Yeah. Oh, also, you get upgraded uh, floor mats. You do? Rubber with the uh, leather bits on yeah, them. Yeah, you get leather. leather really, really leather. Bus- Leather in box format. Um, obviously, everything is ultimately customizable through Twisted. Yeah, you can if do anything. If you wanted a different pattern on your leather, you could probably talk to them about that. Or if you wanted hardcore rubber floor mats for when you're going green laning or on your farm, and nice carpet ones for when you want to go to the golf club or the cinema. Yeah. Um, what do people do? I don't know what normal people do. I just drive normal, around cars. On yeah, the I do, yeah, I do. Um, don't but, know what normal people yeah. do. Five speed gearbox. Same same five-speed gearbox. And same transfer case. Yeah. So all of the gubbins underneath still works. Yep. As intended. Yep. It's which still... means this can still go off-road like a chimney. Well, we've driven it up here. Well, yeah, we're in a field. And it's a it's been a, it's been a wet day. It has been a wet. It's been a wet week. Uh, and it didn't even blink. No. It was like yeah. Just look, look at the perforation of the leather for the speakers know, on the doors. I know. All of it is just so good. I'm wondering though, Rob. Is the driving going to be so good? Well, we know how interesting the normal Jimny is. Yes. So, so l- let's see what this one's like. Yes. To horse. Yes. Shall we, um, since we're on a, a very quiet bit of road. We were on a private road, actually. Well, I, we are actually now on a private road. So shall we just see what it's like? Yeah, go on. Launch it. <laughs> That's stupid. In a good way. In a very good way. All of the, all of my senses were greatly pleased. Yes. Including taste. <laughs> um, that was. It. It's quite. It's, How does it do that? That is. That's honestly incredible. <laughs> there, are, there are no official figures for acceleration for this car. No. But it doesn't really matter. Or to express reckon they've had it at eight and a half seconds to sixty-two. Do they know? Yeah. Okay, so that's a lot quicker then than. Yeah. It to put was. that in context, I mean, it's a lot quicker than a, than, than than the standard chimney. Mm. Significantly faster, mm. but also faster than oh, I don't know, VW Up GTI. Yep. Or sort of most normal hatchbacks. Uh, yeah. And th- this is a. A body on frame. A body on frame A class SUV? Yeah. A, or A yeah, segment? Yeah. It's tiny. It is tiny. It's very light, so that helps. It is very light. The lightness, I can tell you this since we're mm. not going to do it on camera, mm. this is still incredible off road because it's yeah. so light and it has more power. <laughs> yes. I mean, we have, we've done some light yes. uh, off-roading. Good. 
Yep. Oh, this is lovely. This is really nice to drive off road because it's so light. Yeah. On a bit of a green lane to see what it's like and we've driven it in a field. Mm. It's amazing. Well, it certainly would still suit pretty much any farm in well, yeah. the United Kingdom. I, I think that, yeah, the, these cars, you don't underestimate them based on their size. This no. is still very much... Um, a, an off-road vehicle. Yes. Especially when it's got big, fat... BF Goodrich tyres yes. on it. And all of those suspension upgrades, which not only mean it's still very capable off-road, mm. but it means on the road, where we are now, it's much, much more comfortable. Yes. So, so big changes under this car, I'll quickly explain. Mm. We've got... It's coilover springs and dampers, and yeah. it's eye-back and... Um, Bill Stein. Bill Stein dampers. The, but, but Twisted have fiddled... Or well, they've worked with Twisted yeah. to do that. Um, specifically so for, for this. this car. Yeah. You've also got a rear anti-roll bar. Yes. Uh, not an upgrade, an installation, because on the normal car there just isn't one at all. No. And which that... does help with um, axle articulation. Yeah. But... The, the fact of the matter is the chassis for this is so short that I think off the road you're going to see very little difference by having the anti-roll bar there. Yes. Because you're never putting this chassis over a great big twist anyway. No. It's, it's not long enough. The on-road manners, in theory, Rob, should be greatly improved. Well, and this one is also on a slight lift. You can choose how much lifting you want to happen. Yeah. When you, if you spec yours. All of the All of the lift. All of the lift. Yeah, this is so much better to drive than a normal Jimny. Mm. You still have the um, steering rack from. Well, it, that's the normal. It's not gym. a rack. Well, sorry, yes. It's, it's a steering not... box. Yes. So it's got a recirculating ball. <laughs> yes. Which um, only you... this and the Ineos Grenadier have. Yes. Um, other cars where you might find a recirculating ball steering system, mm. old Defender, yep. um, old G-Wagon, the one yeah. designed in the 80s, um, my 1990s Ford Explorer, yes. which is not a refined vehicle. No. So the benefit of a recirc ball system is it removes kickback in off-road driving, yep. and it means you're less likely to break your thumb, Yes. basically, and the car's less likely to just... Um, dart off in the wrong direction yep. on road it means a lot more steering has to happen for the wheels to point in a certain direction yep. and there's a certain loss of feel but but it's fit for a purpose yep. and with the suspension upgrades how is it getting it down the road and knowing where you are well it's a lot easier than it was in the normal yeah. chimney which I, I drove extensively um, around the island of Gran Canaria mm. their roads are a lot smoother than ours yeah, and this and still it going, feels more comfortable uh, than that one did. Um, that, I mean, that that, that that normal Jimny was... Sorry, I just can't get over the noise it's making. It is um, a fabulous noise. That normal Jimny was tyre squealing round round about to 10 miles an hour. Yes, yes, because this is solid axle. Yes, so it, this just immediately... I, I mean, we're going along at 55 miles an hour... And normally, in normal Jimny, you'd be like going, ah! You'd be a lot of twitching and adjusting and yeah. But this, you tracking straight and true. Yeah. You still have to steer more than you would in a normal car. But it's a, it's such a massive improvement. Yeah. I, I, yeah but can everything. you just, can you do the turbo nose again, Rob? Oh, absolutely. That noise by itself mm. is worth fifty thousand pounds, which is the asking price. Starting starting price, price. is forty nine five hundred. Yeah, excluding VAT, because of course this is a commercial vehicle. Yep, no and, back seats. Um, so you can get it ex VAT if you're uh, able to do that sort of thing. Yep, but obviously 
dunk on another twenty percent, and there you've got your your price at basically sixty grand for yep. uh, you or me to buy. Um, since we're not, uh, well, we are business owners. <laughs> we are, but um, <laughs> we're not t- not wealthy business owners. <laughs> no, not wealthy enough to write up ten grand in VAT. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> But yeah, if you uh, if you own a company or, or I mean, how fabulous would this be? As say you were in charge, like you you were in charge of a surveying company. Yes. So you're mostly working for yourself, but sometimes you have to drive out to a wind farm somewhere yep. to check that the foundations are good. Yeah. So yep. you don't need a I bunch do. of space in the back for tools. But you need a nice, tough car that you can take about. But you also want it to be, just be nice the rest of the time. Yeah. Or, you know, you're, like me, um, eight years old at heart, and this is just the best thing that's ever happened to you. It, it is pretty, pretty that's cool. That's a perfectly justified reason to spend that amount of money. Yes. Because people spend that amount of money for that reason on things like BMW M2s. Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think if you buy this, this is infinitely cooler than a BMW M car yes, or an RS3, of course, yes. which are more than more money than that, by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah, a lot more. An RS3 is over £65,000. And, and an RS3 doesn't come standard with things like cruise control. And someone will steal it. Yes, this does have cruise control. It does have cruise control. Um, and if you get, depending on how you get the outside done, mm. no one ever has to know that this is a twisted chimney. No, you don't have unless, to get the decals unless you unless they read the little plaque. Yeah, but it, I, that's even optional. Yeah, you can you can have this as anonymous as you want. Yes, until they hear it. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's the most amusing car. It's fabulous. Uh, it's not fast. No. But I don't care. It's there's so much drama, theatre that the, goes into the acceleration. The, 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 you don't care that it's still not that quick. No, the Jimny itself is such a characterful car, mm. and all this does is turn that character up to 11. Yes. This is so much quieter than a normal Jimny. Quieter, all, all, smoother, more yeah, comfortable. Just everything, all of that soundproofing, the suspension work, apart from the engine, that's louder. Yes. <laughs> well, the turbo is the loud yeah thing. the engine isn't actually that loud but f- from the outside when this goes past it sounds like Darth Vader I, I'm sm- I can't stop smiling while I'm driving it and that is the greatest mark of how good or fun a car is yeah is that a free ladder suit doing some high speed reversing it- <laughs> It looked like that, didn't it? <laughs> it it's, it's ridiculous. It sounds like it's sucking everything. Like yeah. if, if it, it's not a particularly intimidating vehicle. No. But it does sound like it would suck, like, animals. Yeah. Everything just off the side of the Foliage, road. Foliage. Yeah. Park H- benches. Humans. It, it's 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 amazing. As driving experiences go, um, this is one of the most fun I've had. Mm. And it's a Suzuki Jimny. Yes. There's well, a train coming. Uh, we'll let that train go by, Rob. Yeah. And then can I have a go, please? <sighs> Fine. Thanks, Dad. (laughs) Right then, I'm now driving. Mm. (laughs) Uh, Very civilised, isn't it? Mm. I must be careful, there's a small child, I don't want them to be inhaled by the, uh... <laughs> Gone. Oh. But, uh, this... Uh, we are very lucky. 
Yes. We get to drive a lot of nice cars. Yes. Very few of them, I think, oh, I'd actually own that. Because mm. usually when I do, I buy one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what happened with the Stinger. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the very few cars that I drive and think, hmm, need a bit of that in my life. Yeah. And this is good. The thing is, I'm doing that. We've only just caught up to the car in front. Yeah, but it's so amusing. Yeah. But yeah, you could do a down change, no bother. Which is mm. quite impressive because the clutch engagement is unchanged from the normal Jimny. It does feel... Which is yeah. to say... But the clutch pedal feels oh, very assisted. Cool. So you can't really detect at what point the, it's engaged. No. There's not a feeling of engagement because no. it just goes up and down yes. completely smoothly. And the brakes themselves, they're upgraded on this, mm. but the pedal feel is still the same. Mm. So the, the way you push the pedal, you're expecting not to slow down quite as quickly as you then do. Do, I guess, is that... That's not. It, mm. It's not a criticism. It doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't really get to the base of how it is because it's. You don't end up braking too severely. No. You just. You put your foot on your pedal and then you go. Oh no! Yeah, that's no. They're actually quite good. Mm. And also, I mean, research ball is the king of of all palming. Oh, you do love a palm, don't you? Ideal. Yeah. Just. Also, look how much space I have to weave in the lane. Yeah. <laughs> this is right. So it's very very compact. Yeah. So. It never feels too big for where it's going to hopefully be used most of the time, which is B roads, mm. back lanes. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you're taking it green laning, yeah. ideal. You're not even going to get scratches on the paintwork because it's too narrow for the you know all of the Land Cruisers and Land Rovers that have gone through there yeah. before you. Um, but the track is still reasonably chunky yeah so you not you don't feel like you're bouncing yeah let's try and overtake going for the overtake eat my chimney oh that was a big insect well it's now splattered it's now an X insect <laughs> it went straight through its own <laughs> because this windscreen is vertical it is a very upright windscreen I think though Rob mm. we probably gushed enough about how Brilliant. No, no I don't think we have. Okay. This this is everything that I want in a, in a small off-roader. Mm. There is nothing else. I'm going to look directly into whichever camera. If you want a small off-roader, but you also want those luxury elements that you get from uh, more prestige brands, because mm. no one. No prestige brand makes a small SUV. No, not a properly small one. There is no small Land Rover. There is no small Land Cruiser. This is it. But you want these finishes. Mm. Go and join the very long queue for one of these. Because we're in it. Mm. And uh, by the sounds of it, Twisted aren't exactly... Um, wanting for customers no because they've sold probably what, two years worth of these at the minute yeah so you're going to be waiting a long time but trust me if you've got one of these on order if, and if you haven't driven it you're not going to be disappointed you're going to like this car a lot and with that let's go and do a proper conclusion Well, I think it's clear to see we're big fans of this car. Yes. Because we already really like the Jimny. We do. In its base form, stock form. Yeah. And then Twisted have come along and made it many, many, many times better. Yeah. So it was all basically a foregone conclusion. But, mm. in important things, mm. do you think it's worth the money? Yes. Would you own one yourself? Yes. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to write a cheque for £50,000. <laughs> <Yeah. pounds. laughs> is it a good car? Yes. Is it a fun car? So much fun. What else do you need to know? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Suzuki Jimny by Twisted. It's a big, big thumbs up from Buckle Up. 
<laughs> so thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and most importantly subscribe if you go down to the description you'll find two ways that you can support the channel we have a merch store rob's repping some right now um we also have channel memberships uh, where you can sign up there but like i said please please subscribe and comment because it's uh those subscriptions and comments that let us go and drive cars like these so um <laughs> it's selfish but please please come on um but with all that being said rob mm. we'll see you next time Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.